What education do you need to be a wedding planner? Emma Holland left a comment on my video about theft in the wedding industry that said, Hi Andrea, could you please make a video about the education requirements to be a wedding planner? I'm a high school student and I'm very interested in event planning. She left me two heart emojis. Well, Emma, thank you so much for writing in. This video is very specifically for you and for the thousands, literally thousands of men and women who are so interested in this space, but just not quite sure how to proceed. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Andrea Eppolito. I am a Las Vegas based wedding planner, event designer, and lifestyle specialist. And I've dedicated my entire life to celebrating life, luxury, and above all else, love. One of the reasons that I started this YouTube channel and that I have spent so much of my own personal time on content creation and course creation is because I remember being 15 and struggling so greatly when I was in high school trying to find information about this industry and about this space. The World Wide Web was not yet a thing and there just there simply weren't great resources for those of us who wanted to enter the wedding and event industry. As a matter of fact, my family relocated from Long Island, New York to Las Vegas very specifically so that I could attend UNLV, which was and still remains one of the top hospitality colleges and universities in the world. And when I first got out here and I met with my college counselor, I was asked the very typical questions. So what do you want to do when you get out of school? What do you want to be when you grow up? And I said that I wanted to be a wedding planner. And the counselor just kind of looked at me with this blank stare and he blinked a few times and said, but, and, and he's very nice, but that's, that's not a real job. And then he said, oh, that's okay though. We'll put you in catering. And I kind of laughed and I said, no, no, no. I, I know it's not the most popular job right now. I know it's not the most traditional career choice, but there's this woman, Marcy, Marcy Bloom in New York, and she's doing these weddings for celebrities and they're hiring planners. And I really think this is going to be a thing. And I was just, I was so insistent and so passionate about learning how to be a wedding planner that the counselor ultimately enrolled me in catering because there just, there was really no other place for me to go. There was no place else to put me. Now, fortunately, Times have changed, and in the last 25 years, the role of a wedding planner has grown from something that only socialites and celebrities would have into something that is widely considered a necessity by many venues, if not at least a coveted luxury for couples. And with so many different types of planning experiences available, many couples are finding that they can afford to include some level of professional planning and execution in their budget. And so what do you need to break into the industry? What kind of education is quote unquote required? Now, the truth is all you need to do to start your own wedding planning business or event design business is to get a business license, buy insurance, and launch a website just like that. Poof, you're a wedding planner. It's just, it's a couple of clicks of a button and that's it. Now I say that kind of tongue in cheek because just having an Instagram doesn't really make you a wedding planner and it won't make you successful and it certainly won't make you good. In fact, I have a lot of issues with people that are entering the industry without having taken the time to study both the art of wedding planning and event design and then the business side that goes into owning and operating a small creative business. Because at the end of the day, being good isn't enough. Checklists are good. Apps are good. To do this the way it needs to be done, you need to be great. And here are the things that I believe you need to do to educate yourself in order to launch and run a successful wedding planning business. So five things to educate yourself. Number one, get to work. Get real world experience. One of the greatest differentiators that sets me apart from so many others in the industry is that I have decades of hands-on real world experience. Every job I took from my first off the books job as a greeter at a wedding trade show to my first real job as a hostess at a high end restaurant, all the years that I did spend in hotel and resort catering departments, restaurant sales, nightlife operation, every job I took was done with the intention of honing my craft and building my skill set so that I could be the very best operator on site. In order to execute and run a successful wedding day, there are things that you need to understand. You need to understand what it takes to set up 
a blank space. What a chef is going through to cook and produce food for hundreds of people and what service standards need to be obeyed and adhered to. Not because you read that you should have one bartender for every 75 people in a rule book, but because you watched a bartender get crushed when they opened the reception doors. Work retail. It'll teach you how to sell to women in a dressing room. It helped teach me how to understand when a bride was trying to figure out how she wanted to look and feel. Retail taught me how I should talk to men. There is no amount of book knowledge that you will ever get in a university that will ever substitute from starting at the bottom and working with your very own two hands in every facet of the industry that you're entering. Educational point number two, that does not mean you don't have to read. Reading, equally important to the real world experience and the art of operations, is to read about business. Now, this doesn't necessarily need to be reading about wedding and events, although those books are great, and I do read a lot of wedding and catering and event books, but you want to read about what thought leaders are doing. When I want to engage my own mind and I seek to learn from others, I look for people who are icons in their space. So think about books like Shoe Dog, written by Phil Knight, who is the founder of Nike. Inspirational guides by people like Tim Ferriss, Gary V for how to leverage content, even the Amazon letters. Things like that are great. They teach you about the business side and not the pretty side for wedding planning. Reading books will give you the opportunity to learn directly from people that you respect and admire that you may not have the opportunity to actually meet and work with. Now, my personal goal is to read about two to three books, whether they're business or autobiographical, a month. But if you're just starting out, start with one, and yes, you can listen to audiobooks. Educational tip number three, get an internship. When I was working at the Bellagio as a wedding coordinator, I offered to go in on my own time to learn how to capture and edit, we're talking VHS videos. I spent about two months in the dark room for free learning how do you quick cut a video so that I could turn it around and deliver the ceremony edit for my clients. I spent another two months in horticulture because I wanted to know how do you tape a bouquet? How do you really build a boutonniere? And what keeps those centerpieces from tipping over? When I was a hostess, I volunteered to set up large parties because I wanted to figure out how all of the stewards move around each other to do setup and tear down. Now, this might all sound like real work experience, and to some extent it is. The difference is when you're an intern, you work for free. Now, there's this idea that working for free is bad. Nobody wants to work for free anymore, but you working for free is you making an investment in your education and in yourself. You are not being paid in money, but you are being paid in education and experience. Now, I get emails and DMs weekly from people who say, I'm gonna come and I wanna work a wedding with you for free. I never accept these offers for a few reasons. First of all, my clients. My clients deserve to be serviced by top-notch, skilled professionals. I will not disrespect their experience or violate their trust by having someone who's really green on hand. It just isn't worth it. And secondly, in order to make the process beneficial for someone who's giving me their time for free, I need to be able to spend time with my intern. I need to give them one-on-one -on -one attention so I can ask and answer questions so that we can do deep dives. And I can't do that on a wedding day because my priority is my clients. So how exactly would you go about getting an internship with somebody like me or another wedding pro that can help you while not taking away from their business? The trick is to offer to do grunt work, offer to respond to emails and DMs, offer to help schedule their social media, offer to sweep up floral shops, wipe down rentals, count knives and forks as they come in. Your internship isn't about being in the front of the house and doing the sexy work with the couple. It's not the hero job. The internship is about you doing the grunt work and learning by osmosis. It's about being around the real nitty gritty so that when you are ready and you do have real world clients, you have the behind the scenes knowledge that you simply wouldn't have had otherwise. And then request an hour with the person you're interning with to answer questions. Number four, check out free content. You are watching a free video content on education today. 
that in and of itself is a part of your education. There is a tremendous amount of free content available on YouTube and on podcasts. You can read blogs, you can do digital downloads. I can tell you that I firsthand have learned and picked up so many tricks on how to run my business, on how to manage YouTube, on how to scale, how to monetize just by watching videos and listening to podcasts that other pros have created. So spend your time following and studying the wedding professionals that you admire. Watch how they work if they create behind the scenes videos. Study their style and how they design. Pick up on what associations they belong to and then download any free item you can possibly get. It will give you a strong basis of education so that you can start developing your own skills. And then number five, last and finally, peer-to-peer -peer learning. Of all the things that I have suggested that you do, nothing is as valuable as peer-to-peer -peer education. Now, for some of you, that means enrolling in online courses. I have online courses. They're going to be linked below. And if you go into the comments, I have links to other online courses from other companies that I find really, really useful. When I'm creating these videos, it's not just to sell courses. I'm creating all of my videos because I want to give you little 15 minute sound bites so that you can learn one to another. You can also do conferences and associations. Conferences and mixers, they put so much time and energy into bringing out guest speakers that are highly specialized, that are sharing information on very detailed topics. There are Facebook groups public and private, where you can interact with other people who are at your level and above your level. And you can go and join organizations such as WIPA, ILEA, NACE, all great for peer-to-peer -peer education. They have full association memberships and they have students. Go to things like educational events produced by The Knot, Wedding MBA, and Engage. And this is where the best of the best come to learn from each other. Now, I have over 20 years of experience and a degree and internships, and I read, and I can tell you that I've never learned more important lessons than the ones I have gotten when I'm sitting across from somebody who works in the trenches with me, and we're just talking about the reality of this event. Now, you notice I didn't talk about university. I talked about it in the beginning, but nowhere in this video did I say that college is a must. Now, I'm an education whore, I love learning, and I think if you have the ability to go to college, and if you truly enjoy the process, then you should absolutely go. A degree is something that nobody's ever gonna take away from you. But I don't believe that you need a degree, and I don't believe that book smarts are the only way to go. Did you guys see um, Goodwill Hunting? It reminds me of that line where Will says, you wasted $150,000 on an education that you could have gotten for a buck 50 in late fees at the public library. And it's so true. Everything that you need to know exists, whether it's in a book, in a video, on an online course, or at a conference. I'm not telling you not to go to college. I loved college and I learned so much there and I made great connections. But I am here to tell you that a degree is only a part of the process. It's a small part of the process. If you want to enter this industry, if you want to be great, and if you want to be a thought leader, then the biggest thing that you can do for yourself, your business, and your clients is to commit to ongoing education. It is a never-ending thing. So please do me a favor. Read everything you can. Listen to podcasts. Watch videos. Sketch, design, play. Set up your own house if you have to. Get a job in the industry and intern everywhere you can. Volunteer for charity events because nothing is ever going to take the place of real world experience. So Emma and anyone else wondering about what kind of an education you need to be a great wedding planner, I hope this helps. And I also hope that it encourages you to send in comments and questions on my videos. I really do read them. I try my best to create the content for you that you need that is why this channel exists. It is my way of giving back to an industry that has given me so much in terms of professional success, professional happiness. It has allowed me to make a living while building a life and having a lifestyle that I love. And so I thank everybody for watching. And Emma, I have a gift for you. Okay, so here's the deal. I have written two books. This book, 
redefining your wedding business, I am going to send to you for free. You can email me. It's Andrea at EppolitoEvents.com. And if you are Emma, I'm going to sign this book and I'm going to send it to you for free. And for everyone else, if you are interested in books, if you're interested in courses and education, go in the links below. I am going to give you a code AEE25. Now that will give you 25% off of enrollment in both of my courses. And it will also give you a bonus of a one hour one-on-one -on -one consultation with me and the team after you finish the courses. It is my way again of saying thank you, of giving back. We're going to keep that um, good through the end of January. January is my birthday, so that'll be our little celebration together. And just so you know, this week we are opening up Lotus House. I'm. If you follow me on social, you've seen that Lotus House is a local venue here in Las Vegas. We have been working and building it and getting it set up. We launched this weekend. Tomorrow we're loading in furniture. We're doing the final walkthrough, the final cleaning. I'm going to have my husband on hand. He's going to take a bunch of video. I'm going to try my best to cut it so that you can have it next Wednesday. Either way, please know I'm out there. I'm working. I appreciate you. Until the next time we talk, thank you so much. And I hope that you have a weekend celebrating life, luxury, and above all else, love. Talk to you soon.